Okay, I was asked to give just a few overview comments to kind of frame the topic of community de and development and sustainability. So like a good academic, a planner and a lawyer, I'm going to first start by thinking about the words community and development and sustainability. What do they mean? What, are they, what images do they bring to mind? Then I'll talk a little bit about the institutions that we use to try and advance some notion of sustainable community development or community development for sustainability or whatever it is we're trying to do, some topics that typically come up as we address those things, and then the challenges that we face in trying to move forward in a sense. So let's start with terminology. Community. What is community? What community is not? Community is not, I am an island unto myself. Community is not anarchy. Community is not dystopia. Community is not even utopia. Well, a lot of planners like to talk about creating the utopian society. I think I disagree with that. I maybe get into some trouble with my colleagues, but I think that's kind of a fool's errand. Um, I do think, though, that community brings to mind images of the common, the things that we share, of the social aspect of our natures, of a notion of inclusiveness in, in notion of community of a sense of identity or belonging, right? Are those all terms that you think of when, what do you think of when you think about community? I'm guessing all of you came tonight to talk about community development and sustainability without having stopped to think, what are we really talking about? What does community mean to me? I hope those are concepts. They all kind of play out in our historical setting, in our physical setting, in our cultural setting. So it's the common, it's this inclusiveness, it's our, it's our identity. With me so far? Strong disagreement, yes, no, am I in line here? How about development? What does development mean? Not decline, not stasis. It doesn't even mean growth, per se. There's a lot of rhetoric and terminology that it's all about growing. If I had a local official tell me once, if you ain't growing, you're dying. I'm not sure I would go that far. Um, but development does kind of imply, I think, some kind of qualitative improvement over time in the things about community that we value, right? So it's, an, it's a bit amorphous. It's maybe not easily captured by numbers, but it's a sense of kind of improving the human condition, improving our flourishing, improving qualitatively the quality of life, uh, uh, Wendy mentioned, in a, in a sustainable way over time. So community development or, or developing the community is kind of expanding our notion of community. Sustainability. There's a good reason for not trying to define sustainability because it's hard to define and it's used by a lot of different people in different ways. Um, I'm going to break it apart a little bit. I think we want to be focusing on sustainability and social justice and happiness and let me explain that a little bit. It, it's, at its basis, sustainability is the idea of perpetuating a community or a society, right? If we sustain it, we keep it going in some meaningful sense over time, or keep it stable. I think we also want to have just communities, just in the sense of fairness. We want our government to treat us fairly. We want each other to treat us fairly. We especially want folks who have power to treat those who don't have power in a, in a way that's fair. Some folks include that notion within the concepts of sustainability. I like to tease it apart because they're not necessarily coterminous. You can do things for sustainability that aren't especially just and vice versa. And then the funny thing is, final thing is happiness. We also want to develop communities that we love, that are desirable places to be, to live and work and play. And so part of the trick as we think about sustaining communities or developing communities so they're sustainable is to kind of figure out how to do all of these things simultaneously. How to improve our common experiences, our inclusiveness, our so uh, socialness, our identity in a way that is sustainable and that is just and that leads us to be happy in, ha in a sense of happiness. And by happiness, I don't mean the trivial smiley face. You know, we've kind of trivialized, don't worry, be happy with the smiley face and everybody's smiling. I mean happy in more of the classical sense. We're part of a community, we're engaged. Um, um, it's a, a notion of human development. So those are some ways to think about those terms. What are the institutions that we use to get there? We'll probably talk mostly tonight about government and to some extent about markets, right? And, and those are the institutions a lot of folks think about, especially in, a, in this political season. The big battle is what's the role between private markets and, and governments. But there are other important institutions as well. There are nonprofits, non-governmental organizations that have a huge 
impact on the way we approach community and, and the way we experience community. And there are also religious institutions. Our churches and our temples can play an important role. The point I want to make here is that there are multiple institutions that go into making up a community, and they each have a role to play, and they each interact with one another, which leads to some of the complexity that I'll talk about in a minute. So kind of keep in mind, it's not just the city planning department that determines what community is. It's also the, the housing, Avalon Housing, and all of the other institutions we have in place that kind of um, feed into our, our notion of community. So what are the topics that we typically address to get at community development? Wendy's already laid out a lot of them. Citizen participation. How can you engage in community if you don't actually engage the community? You need to have the community engaged. We often talk about housing, fair, especially fair and affordable housing for the folks who are less able to, to provide for themselves. We talk a lot about jobs. Usually that's in the term, in the context of economy. There's a lot of, we typically today talk about economic growth. The economy is really an institution. It's a mechanism to get at what we're trying to get at, which is employment, jobs, livelihoods, things along those lines. So um, those concerns, public safety is a big part of community, both, I th in, the, both in the sense of a, a police safety, but also hazards. If you believe in global climate change and the increased storminess that that's going to bring, then we have to start worrying about safety from flooding events. Those kinds of things are important for communities. Um, landscapes and the environment are an important part of community. Quite often planners break them apart. They have community development and they have environmental protection. We need to figure out how to reconnect the environment into the city um, and through community development. Amenities and services, a lot of what the city does is worry about the services that are provides and the amenities it creates. Historic preservation, a big part of community is our sense of where we've come from what's important to us culturally and historically. Um, connectivity, one of the sessions was all about transportation. That's an important part of community. How do you get around? How accessible are things to people? How can they uh, interact with one another? Redevelopment, especially in communities that are older, some parts of which might be flagging a bit and we want to redevelop them. Set against concerns about gentrification. Um, where maybe we're redeveloping in ways that are leaving um, the less um, less provided for out in, the, out in the street, so to speak. And then issues like race and class and social inclusiveness are all parts, important parts of community. Who's the community we're talking about? How inclusive are we as we talk about the range of people that we want to include in our notion of community? So those are the topics that quite often come up as planners and others struggle with the idea of promoting community development. I have five big challenges for how we promote community development. The, the first is we're individuals, every one of us, but we're also social creatures. And we f exist in that kind of ongoing tension. By gum, I want to do what I want to do, and I don't want anybody telling me what to do until my neighbor does something they want to do, and it's bothering me. <coughs> and then I want them to do what I want them to do. And then we need to come together as a community. We're always in this kind of tension. Do you public officials, is this ringing bells? <coughs> so there's, and that's just human nature. That's the dynamic that we have to live with. We're individuals, but we're also members of the community. Um, and added to that, we're a community of individuals who are, who've are, experienced variation in terms of our abilities, in our ambitions, in our circumstances. So we're not all the same. We all behave differently. We all have different concerns. We all have different abilities. So somehow we have to figure out how to make communities work, given that variation in what people are interested in and what they're looking for and what their capacities are. That lead, that's, the, that's the second challenge, our variation in us, and then therefore the variation in our situation. Some of us do very well in society. Some of us don't do so well. Sometimes it's because we don't have the ambition to do well. Sometimes it's through no fault of our own. So there's a lot of variation there to have to struggle with in terms of figuring out our society. All of that leads to the third big challenge, which is a huge plurality of viewpoints and values. So not only do we come from different situations, we all have very different viewpoints about what's important and what's not important and what's valuable to us and what should be valuable to the community. And we kind of tend to want everybody else to see the way that we see things, but we can't because we're all different. There's a great plurality in how we approach problems. There's a, even preferences, different preferences for how much we want things to be planned versus how much we want them to just kind of unfold organically. 
And that speaks then to how much role we want to have government to have in, in shaping all of these things. So that kind of plurality of viewpoints and values is a real challenge for coming together. The fourth challenge is just plain old uncertainty and randomness. Life is a complex system. Human societies are complex. There's a lot of randomness, a lot of uncertainty. It makes planning especially difficult because you just don't know how things are going to play out. You can, the best laid plans can change pretty quickly if s situations change. And then the fifth challenge is even if we start to understand what's going on, huge measurement problems and lots of arguments over how do we measure what's happening and what are the measures that we hone in on to use to make arguments about how we ought to proceed. So um, I hope that wasn't too ac academic of an overview. I think the point I want to make is community is important to us. It's vital to us. In, in the American ethos, we tend to have this kind of cowboy mentality. It's all about me and it's all about I'm going to kind of pull myself up by my bootstraps and kind of make it on my own. And that is just so untrue. We are so much part of a community. We depend on our community to provide the support we need to thrive. If we've thrived, it's certainly been because we've had a lot of community support. There's a lot of room to discuss here. Then how do we make communities thrive for everyone in a fair and a sustainable and just way? And, 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 and in the context of sustainability, how do we move forward? And so maybe then this will kind of, I hope that kind of just gets you thinking and, and, and see if this fits into the, the comments that the other pre presenters will make and see if I made any sense after all of that. Thank you. I hope I'm on time. <laughs>